Today, we're talking about the two accounting methods, cash basis and accrual basis. Now, when I was first started out in business, I had no idea about financial statements or about accounting or anything. I just relied on my bank balance at the end of the month. If I had a little money left over after I paid all my bills, I thought I was doing really well. Now, this is an example of cash basis accounting. And under this method, revenues are reported when cash is received. And expenses are reported when they're paid or when the cash is paid out to vendors. And although this was a bit more practical for me and for a lot of small businesses, it can lead to some inaccuracies and it is not accepted under generally accepted accounting principles. And so let me give you an example of that. So in month one, I could have brought in or received $15,000 in cash for sales. However, I may not have paid any expenses, especially if my vendors give me credit. So cash basis leads to some inaccuracies, especially when you're talking about credit. So if my vendor told me I didn't have to pay till next month, well then cash basis may seem a bit inaccurate. So in this model, I have $15,000 of net income and it looks like a really, really good month. When in reality, month two, I don't have any revenues coming in because I already received the cash. However, I have to pay for the materials and now I have what looks like $10,000 loss and I did really bad. This is why we have and use accrual basis accounting. Now under accrual basis accounting, we recognize revenue when it is earned and we recognize expenses when they are incurred. So for in this same example, we have month one and month two. If I earned the revenue in month one, and I also incurred the expenses or the material used to generate these same revenues, well then I'm gonna have a very accurate number of $5,000 in net income or profit. Whereas in month two, I didn't incur and I didn't earn. And so it's a bit more balanced. Now, accrual method is more accurate and allowed under generally accepted accounting principles Although it may not be the most practical for small business people or people who aren't that familiar with accounting because of the accrual entries. And we'll talk about that in one of the next lessons.